Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we've got the short nails out and we're going to do this super cute strawberry set. It's giving me picnic -y vibes and I love it so much and I cannot wait to pop them onto my hand and do the final shots which you will actually see at the end of the video. So we've got a pink and a green from Madame Glam. The green is called a perfect green and the pink is called Pink Star. We also have a red, and the red today is actually from Semilac. It's called Girl on Fire, and it was just the best red I had actually in my collection. I don't have a lot of reds from Madame Glam, so I started um, looking through my drawers and trying to see if I can find any other companies that offer a beautiful red, and this was the one that I found. I do find that Semilac gel polishes are actually quite nice when it comes to nail arts because they're really, really thin and quite opaque actually so they are quite nice when it comes to nail art but when it comes to actually painting the full nail it's not always my top pick so it's just kind of the reason why they're not always featured on my channel as often because i just don't find myself drawn to them at all every so often obviously when i'm struggling on colors but um yeah today that color actually did pretty well so if you did like it that one actually the consistency and everything was quite nice actually um but other ones not so much so when it comes to our background colours, the firm is pink, the pink is red, and the middle three nails are going to be the nude. The nude is actually part of Madame Glam. It comes in a different bottle because it was part of their limited edition collection. So unfortunately, I don't think you'll be able to pick this colour up, which is such a shame because look at that nude. It's literally the perfect nude, especially if you're into press-ons and you actually got like a business and everything. That colour was just stunning and I'm honestly loving it when it comes to doing these kind of nails. Um... But I'm sure they do constantly bring out new colours, as you will know. Each month they've got new colours, so I'm sure there's a replica on their website of some sort. So now that everything's applied, we've got two layers going on, and it's time for the nail art. So the middle finger is getting a pink French. I believe the ring finger's getting a French as well. And I can't actually remember what we're doing on the index, so we'll see in just a second. Um, I just want to qu quickly give a little disclaimer. Um... In case you're wondering, right now I left the little stubbly things at the end of the nails. Don't worry guys, I personally really, really like to file them down at the end. I don't know why, I just feel like I'm doing double the job if I'm filing them off at the start and at the end. So as you can see, the tip has this um, little plasticky like nub thing right at the end. Um, so rather than just filing off at the start and then refiling again the nails at the end, I just do it all at the end. That's just my personal preference because I still like to file my nails at the end just to give him that really nice crisp crisp look um and yeah that's basically it so we've got two french tip nails now on the red nail since we're <laughs> working on the pink i just thought i'll get everything that i can that i need to do with the pink whilst i've got the brush wet in the gel polish on the pinky we're going to do pink hearts so um i've picked up a dotting tool and i've popped two dots fairly close to one another and then you want to connect the dots together as I am on the video right now. And you got yourself some hearts. So we're doing three hearts on that nail. And then um, I'm not too sure. I might have cured it in place just in case I nudge it. Because sometimes I don't trust myself. And I'm a bit wild and quick and don't always look after my stuff around me. So sometimes I like to just cure stuff really quickly into place. Before I crack on with any extra detail that I'm doing around the image or design that I've already placed down. And then around the heart, I'm using a smaller dotting tool and just scattering a couple of dots all around the nail. And that will be our first nail fully done. And then we will be able to crack on with the rest of them. Each nail basically has something going on. We will have some charms as you saw as well going on, which we'll get to a bit later in the video. So that's our nail done. Now onto the index finger. We are going to do a red, red French tip. And as you can see, I am pretty skilled with my French tips. I don't need to do any techniques or anything. I can just envision it and I'm drawing it out. And most of the time it comes out fairly perfectly. Sometimes it needs a little cleanup or just some perfection lines here and there and it's good to go. But I am working actually on a video, hopefully quite educational and very in-depth on how to do French tips and the different methods and everything. So hopefully that'll be quite handy to have and save in your, you know, playlist or something just to have if whenever you're wanting to do some French tip, but you're struggling. So definitely subscribe and um, look out for that video because I'm working on it right now. So hopefully it should be out fairly soon. Um, and yeah, let me know once it comes out if you think it was helpful or if I just wasted my time and I'm a horrible teacher. Let me know. When it comes to the French tip nails, I did apply two layers. 
So that would have happened off camera. So I would do the first layer on camera and then the second off camera. Now on the two pink French dip nails, I'm using the nail art brush that's already dipped in the red gel polish. And I'm going to do an outline of the French, not the French dip, the small line. So I'm just doing an outline there. It's a little bit difficult because you're trying to make the line uh, the same thickness all the way through, which can be quite difficult. So sometimes it's better to make it a little bit thinner and then just add that thickness in rather than going straight away with the thickness and then trying to remove it. So always try to go a bit like handed in with it. And of course, again, I'm going to do it on this nail too. I'm quite impressed with myself actually because I was able to do it on camera and it looks pretty good <laughs> definitely probably fixed the build like a little side bit or something off camera but majority of it was completed on camera which is pretty good going um usually i'll go off camera for things like this just because the way i've got my setup is quite difficult sometimes to do very like detailed work so i do find myself sometimes just going off camera so now here I'm just comparing the other thumb that I've got going on already just because I wanted to make sure that the heart is in the same rough area as we did in the other nail and this is going to be the center of our French tip heart nail so I thought um, it would be really cool to do a heart French tip on the thumb so the heart is going to be like the lowest point of the small line and then the dots are going to go upwards to create a small line basically and I think again I believe I might have cured this one in place before I cracked on with the rest of the design after this nail was done we are going to start working on our little strawberries I am not at all skilled in strawberries I really wish I had a stamp and plane but I don't actually have one so I had to do it by hand which probably is good because you guys could then recreate it but when it comes to stamping plates you just have to have it and of course not everybody will and it just causes a little bit of problems here and there but Today I didn't have it, so we're going to hand paint some strawberries and they're as junior and as, you know, basic as you could ever make them. <laughs> but they're just enough of a strawberry where you can tell it's a strawberry, I think. Let me know, guys. So on this nail here, I'm doing these lines of red with the dot and tool. But you don't, you don't need to do it with the dot and tool, but the nail art liner would have done the job too. And I'm just connecting it to a kind of like a pointy, almost like a triangle is basically what we're doing. And then once it's cured, we are going to then do like the little like stemmy green bits at the top. And then also with some white, we're going to do a couple of dots, but we'll get to that bit in just a second. So I believe we've only got two nails with the strawberries. It was that middle nail and also on the thumb, but only on the parts of like the French tip part. You don't want to do anything at the top there. So this one's going to get one, two, three, five strawberries, this one. This thumb is pretty big. I believe it's a size zero. So um, it's a fairly, I think it's the biggest size you can get on the thumb. So it's, you know, we've got quite a lot of space. We can do a couple more strawberries than usual. And then go ahead and pop into the lamp. As you can see with this red, it's very opaque. And I believe I only did one layer. I did not need to do another one. Super opaque. And I love those kind of gel polishes, especially for net art. Because you do not want to just waste your time redoing everything twice, basically. So now that that's done, this bit was quite difficult. I didn't know how to do it. So I just grabbed a nail art brush. And I just started doing dashes. And you know what? <laughs> at the start I was a bit disappointed I thought oh my goodness it's not looking that great it's not looking that great but once I added the white dots and I just did the rest of the design and finished it all off it just ended up coming together and you know what it wasn't even that bad after all so don't doubt yourself when you're doing this I find strawberries incredibly difficult to do personally and um hopefully this is recreate you know hopefully this is easy enough where you can recreate it and be happy with your results um and yeah so i'm just going to continue on the thumb as well and then i either pop into the lamp or i was brave enough and i started working on our dots when it comes to the strawberries so with our dots i tried to find the smallest tiniest little dot and tool i possibly could have in my collection i've i've wish or i hope there are smaller ones but you could do you could use like a a toothpick or something something really fine maybe like a bobby pin's probably a bit too big but anything that as fine as you can just because even the, the small dot and tool that i did find it was still too big like when you i had to be very very light handed and oh it was just a bit difficult but if you can find yourself something really really fine that would be absolutely the most ideal so right now I'm doing a line of three dots, then two, and then one at the bottom. 
Um, as you can see, some are thicker than others. Other, that top strawberry started blending into one another, those dots, and are oh, just a mess. So I highly recommend, learn from my mistakes, grab yourself something as fine as you possibly can, and go ahead and do the dots. So now we're just working on that other nail. Now just doing the rest of the dots on that one. Again, once I'm happy, we'll pop it into the lamp. And I believe at this stage, we're ready to... I want to say get on with the charms so we'll see in just a second if that's the case I can't remember now but we are coming to the end of the video so it must be the charm stage and now we can top coat and we're good to go and I'll show you guys the final results on my hand I love doing those it's so fun to do okay so I actually forgot about this so with a dot and tool pop it into some red gel polish and then just scatter it all around the strawberries on the French tip and I think on the other nail where we've got the strawberries it's going to be scattered around the whole nail just around the strawberries and around everything basically you don't want to put too much because you don't want to like make it too concentrated but just enough to make it like pretty full you get the gist um and then we'll be ready for our charms we've only got two charms to do um, you will notice that the heart charm that I placed down, I actually removed because it was actually quite thick and I had other thinner looking ones. So in the final shot of it on my hand, it's actually thinner than it is on when I show you guys me actually applying it. We are going to use some McCart Rhinestone Glue Gel, which we are going to apply now. So it's on the two plain <laughs> French tip nails right in the center. And um, because our charms had a bit of space, they were quite diff not difficult but they had like you know it was like an outline and i didn't want there to be any areas that didn't have a top coat and stuff so i applied my rhinestone glue gel i floated a top coat on top of it and then placed my charm into where i wanted it to be and then i popped it into the lamp and then you're gonna have the final result i've been really really enjoying doing these kind of french tip looking not french tip sorry press on nail looking designs because i can actually pop them onto my hand and actually show you guys what it would look like on a real hand you know what the design would look like actually wearing it rather than just showing you it on some long stilettos so just a disclaimer no one's wearing these again and if they are it's just going to be me so if any of these chip or anything happens to them like i did them myself so there's absolutely no problems with it at all if i was selling it i would do the whole process when it comes to buffing priming you know the whole shebang basically <laughs> um so yeah we're just finishing up with the top coat. I am using a Neo Neo's glossy top coat. Here comes the charm. So there's a bow and there's that heart, which again, we will take off. And I'm going to place ever so slightly different looking heart. Especially when I place it down, you'll notice it's so thick. It just looked huge. But here we are. They're all nice and done. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye, guys.